In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool steps animation where we have the A, B, C, D flying. And as soon as we click, all of the steps will appear and we create a very dynamic slide in PowerPoint and we'll make it all the way from scratch. Now, for those of you who want to follow along in the tutorial, this is the color palette that I've used so you can pause the video and edit your slides as well. Now, I'll split up this tutorial into multiple parts for which you have the chapters in the timestamps. And what I'll do is I'll make the slide first and then I'll animate it with the morph transition. And secondly, I'll animate it for the older versions of PowerPoint so anyone can follow along in this tutorial. And we're going to start from a blank slide. Now, first, I want to go to the layouts and choose an entirely blank slide to work with. So we have a clean sheet to work with. Next, I'm going to the design tab and I'm choosing my color palette. So I'm going to variants, colors, and then here you can choose any of your custom palettes. I'm using my purple one of which you have the colors. Then I'm going back to home, right click format background, and we want to give this a nice gradient fill. So it automatically gives us a proposal. I want to go for the almost darkest version. You can play around with stops if you want more or less light in the center. But I'm choosing a radial stop so we have that light point focus point in the center. Next, I'm going to add the shapes. So I'm going to add a square and position it in the top. I'm going to hold Option Shift on a Mac. I think it's Control Shift to create a copy and create a duplicate. Now you can see that they don't all fit on the slide. So to make them equal and to make them fit on the slide, we want to select them all, Control G to group it together, and then just hold shift and scale it down until it meets the border of the slide. That's why we went for a rectangle and then we copied it four times. So we have an equal split and it's still a rectangle. So we don't have to change the sizes. Select them all. I'm going to remove the outline and let's give them a nice color. So I'm starting with this purple. I'm going to give it one tint darker each time we move down the ladder. So we have about four points. You know what, this one, I'm going to make it one tint darker. So we're using the darkest tints as well. I think this is a nice combination that we could use. Now you can always, if you want to extend it a bit, you can always extend it a bit if you want. That is perfectly possible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those and hold again, control shift to drag to create a copy and extend those to the border of the slide. So now that we have four shapes here and four shapes on the left, I'm going to make it clear which are the ones on the left. So I'm selecting those, go into shadows and then choose a preset of casting a shadow to the right so that it will cast nicely onto those blocks. And if that doesn't happen, just control X, control V or right click and bring them to front. Now I'm going to add some text to it. So I'm going to drag a text box here and type in A. You can use any letter or number that you want. I'm just using A in this case. For the font, I'm going for Montserrat and I'm using extra bold. Font size, I think 60 will do. Center it in the middle and then place it in the middle of your box. Maybe a few ticks larger. I'm creating copies. Now, if you want, you can just select one of the items, Control D, place that in the middle of the second box and then just press Control D again and it will automatically keep that increment and that position change. So A, B, C and D and there we have it. Now we just copy the box and here we type in a little title. So let's say lorem ipsum dolor sit. Also for this, Montserrat, make it white, a few ticks larger, maybe 24. And I'm also choosing that font. Let's go for semi bold, placing it a bit more on the right. And then I'm going to paste some more dummy text in here and just make it a bit smaller. For the font, I think we can go to a light or regular. That depends a bit on the readability that you want to have. Now that we have this, I'm going to create a copy. So I'm going to copy that and place it on the next tabs and leave some room on the left side so we can add some icons maybe. I think that will look good. So we go to design, insert, and in here let's maybe type person. You can choose any icon that you like. And for example, we take four sports, so four different ones and skiing, and then we insert. Let's make them a light, not that entire white. And then we just select the icons and drag them in place. You can scale them up or down if you like. I think this will look quite good. Hey, quick heads up. If you're looking for a professional designer to help you with your slides or presentations, I also offer done for you one-on-one -on -one services to help you with your project. I'll take the slides, the content that you give me, and I'll turn them into impactful presentations based on your needs and your business requirements. Now, keep in mind, this is a paid service. Spots are limited. So if you want to reach out to me, you can do that via the link in the description below to contact me. Let's get back to the video. So once we have this, I'm going to group the things together. So I'm going to group those parts. And you can see they shift. So if you group something, it will come to the front as a new element. So I'm just going to grab those and then also drag around and control G on the boxes that we have here. Now select those all, right click and bring to front. That is important that we have the layer order in place. 
So now that we have made this basic version of the slide, we're going to look at how we can create that animation effect. And for that, I'm going to right click and duplicate the slide. And on the first slide, selecting those four items, I'm using that toggle switch here to zoom out a little. Let me just close those tabs and then hold shift and drag everything to the left. Now you can just space them out a bit more. That way everything flies in at a different pace. So now if we increase this a little bit, we can see we have two slides, one with the blocks only, and then one with everything sort of pulled out. If we want, we can add even a nicer intro. And also for these beginning blocks, we can have those. So if we remove this on the first slide, we don't need that. And we just use those same techniques, sort of have the opening blocks fly in as well. Then let's add a nice text box on the slide. For that, you can always copy the existing ones if you want the formatting. And then let's call this. Make sure that text box is large enough. Center it in the middle of your slide, make it a bit larger, and then create a copy that we make smaller and we call it animation. Now for the font, I like to use Sign Painter and that yellow color. I think it nicely contrasts with the color palette that we're using and also gives some contrast with the font. I think that's pretty cool. Right click Format Object for the text. And I'm also going to give this a little bit of drop shadow, not too much, but just a bit so it stands out with some blur. It creates some depth to the slide or to those layers. Now I'm going to copy this because if we want to apply the transition, the morph transition, for example, everything needs to be in the exact same order of the layers. So I'm going to paste it here and send it to back. So right click, send it to back. Don't forget to do that on this slide as well. Send to back. And then we, for good measure, we also place it here and send it to back. Now we can select the two slides or the number two and three and apply morph. And for that, we can see that on the second slide here, it's now no longer in the middle. So we want to shift that a little bit to the right so that it optically remains in the middle. I think that's what we want to create. So let's preview this. And this is how you can create this really cool steps animation where as soon as you click the blocks fly in, and as soon as you click again, all of the different tabs and the content will fly in on your slide. Now you can always play around with the animation if you want. So if you want to have this one to be a bit faster and the other one to be a bit slower, that is perfectly possible. And let's preview that again. And now we have the first step. As soon as we click, we have the ABCD, and then we can pull everything out and have that animated, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to do this on older versions of PowerPoint, that is also possible. And for that, I'll just show you quickly how to do it. We're starting from the same position as the finished result here, but we're going to remove the morph transition. So we have the finished slide, and we're just going to select those four boxes, go to animations, and then we choose a fly in animation, just like this, but we choose the effect options. Then we can open the animation pane and maybe let's do everything. Preview this again. We have this same opening slide. And as soon as we click, the first step will fly in, second, third, and fourth. Of course, you can play around with the extra layers that we've added as well. But this is a technique how you do it. So thanks all for watching to the tutorial. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint or if you want to improve your PowerPoint skills with my 30-day program, you can find the link in the description below. See you in the next video.